I'm Isaiah Truman, and I train the world's best athletes. Surfers, snowboarders, golfers, tennis players, every sport imaginable, except for shooting. I have 10 weeks to take high school senior Reagan Tyler and make her into the best athletic shooter that she can be. And I'm veteran Green Beret sniper instructor John Wayne Walden. Remember your trigger squeeze. And I figure if I could teach a few hundred Afghanis how to shoot without a lick of English, I ought to be able to do something with Reagan. This is I Am Forever. So, John, this episode's all about the importance of breathing, which you tell me if I'm wrong, but it seems like the most important thing. Right. That's the first thing that punches everybody in the mouth is breathing their heart rate whenever we start running and gunning. Mm -hmm. We have a term in the military called embrace the suck, right? You know, there's a difference between embrace the suck and taking your time. You want to push your body as, as fast as you can, embracing the suck and not doing bad, but in the same sentence, you don't want to walk to the target and have the slowest time possible. Work while breathing. Yeah, and it's kind of like a fine line between the duration and the intensity. Sometimes you gotta go a really long time at a medium intensity and, and embrace the suck and be able to just find that groove and breathe through it. Right. Other times your heart rate spiked, you're breathing out of control, and the question is really how quickly can you control it right. and recover, come back to a place where you can shoot again. Right, what she learned from you, I think is absolutely gonna make her better. Yeah, and, and actually this week I, I took Reagan swimming. Let's take a look at what she did. Let's do it. I am Marnie Kerner. Being in the water, it lowers your heart rate. It teaches your body to use oxygen more efficiently. Swimming is a great way to teach her about controlling her heart rate and her breathing, which is really essential in athletic shooting. With the ability to use oxygen more efficiently, that'll help you with your balance and focus, faster recovery, faster reaction, better performance. Hit one. All right, I'm just gonna check out, just for a warm up, I'm just gonna check out your freestyle, okay? Your breathing pattern, your stroke rate, your kick. She looks pretty good already. All right, she has a regular breathing pattern. She's taking a breath, she's doing bilateral breathing on either side. She's taking a breath every five strokes, so she does have that pattern going for her. A lot of competitive swimmers or fitness swimmers breathe about every third, so fifth yeah. shows that she's actually using that oxygen. Well, what I would do to uh, benefit your sport, I would have you just do that warm-up pace for longer distance. We could do ladders, build you up to di more distance swimming, and just that regular pattern, your bilateral breathing every fifth stroke, just doing that for longer distance at a comfortable pace, that would just directly benefit your breath control. <laughs> nice work. Nice, nice work. <laughs> How do you feel? Lethargic. <laughs> <laughs> During the last stretch, that's when I kind of had to take a little break. Take a little break in the middle, and we were talking about exhaling all the way a lot, like shooting, right? Like breathing all the way out and getting into that pause yeah. space. I would breathe like halfway and then try to hold my breath and then push the rest out. Right. And I don't think that helped me at all. <laughs> right. No, that's and then it just falls. Yeah. Then it just gets mm -hmm. more difficult. So what I'd want you to do is just do a 25 down, okay, underwater, pull any way you like, okay, and then before you do this, you want to take a few breaths in, in and out, in and out. She's holding her breath right there, see? So you really don't want her holding her breath at any point. You want her either exhaling or taking a breath in? Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. This is a 10-pound diving brick. I like to use it just on the bottom and pull again. It's this little challenge. You'll feel the added resistance to underwater swimming. Yeah. Your breathing pattern underwater it looks like you're holding your breath a little bit and then blowing out and holding your breath. So you want to just concentrate on you coming up, taking a great, nice big inhale and blowing it out as slow and controlled as possible okay. as you're pushing the brick. Okay, Oregon, this is a resistance belt, okay? It has a tubing attached to it. We're gonna put it around your waist. Continue to work against the resistance, okay? Try to keep your form and your breathing pattern. So let's see if she can maintain her breathing pattern. <laughs> so this week when you're at home, what I'd like you to do is take what we learned today and apply it on your own, swimming some laps, pushing the brick 
and even some resistance with a rubber band. So John Wayne and I worked together and organized some exercises and drills for next weekend that are a little more challenging than what we've done to date. So I really want you to practice what we learned today, this week, get the most out of it you can and bring your A game next weekend. Okay, I'll be ready. I know you will be. I really hope that Reagan every week stays consistent with her practice and she's able to incorporate everything we've learned so far and doesn't just kind of do it a few times and let it go, but each week is sort of adding a little bit more to what she's doing on her own so that overall she's becoming a better, more well-rounded athlete. So swimming, tell me what all Uzziah was making you do while swimming. We started with a warm-up lap or two, just some freestyle down and backs. And she had me do one drill, which I really like, and I had to push this big block across the bottom of the pool. And I had to go all the way down and push it all the way back, and that was pretty tough. You know, pushing that block, that's obviously very uncomfortable, but you have to learn how to focus while uncomfortable and work, right? Athletic shooting, what we're doing here and swimming, is the ability to focus while uncomfortable. Wouldn't you agree? Definitely, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing here, is you're gonna be uncomfortable because you're running, but now you have to work and you gotta shoot. Before each of Reagan's three shooting tests, she'll have to complete an athletic drill. First, she'll do a long jump from the 15-yard line to her target and back. From there, she's got six pie plates to knock down with her pistol. Next, from the 50-yard line, she'll hold two glasses of water while performing a hurdle exercise for one minute. Then she'll shoot a reactive target twice in the center, once in the pie plate. Her last athletic drill is a 300-yard shuttle run between the 75 and 50-yard lines with a carbine held over her head. She'll end on the 75-yard line where she'll drop to the prone and shoot a four-inch target. All right, Reagan, shoot her ready. Ready. Begin. There you go. Remember to explode. All right, there you go. Six, quick as possible. Lock and load. Cleared hot. Slack out. Miss. Aim hot. There you go. Look. Miss. There you go, aim, press. Miss. There you go. Miss. There you go, perfect. Time, lock and clear. Good job. Shooter ready? Ready. Begin. There you go. Watch the water, watch the water. There you go. There you go, concentrate. Ooh, it's hard. There you go. There you 30 go. seconds. Think about what you're doing. Think about each step, think about each step. Perfect. Almost there, almost there. One more time, one more time. Ooh. Keep going, keep going. Time. All right, drop and go to the gun. Drop and go to the gun. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit the bolt release. Bolt release. There you go. Hit. 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 Miss. Miss. Focus. There you go. Get it. It was a miss. Miss, 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 miss. Make sure that dot is right where you want it to be. Hit, hit, but don't say. All right, Reagan, down and back six times. Begin. One. One. Two, three. <laughs> Try to relax your arms. Okay, keep moving, Four. push them out, relax. There you go. Come on, get your breathing down. Five. There you go. Last one. Come on, push it up. Don't quit, all the way through. All right, Six. go to the mat, go to the mat, let's go. What are you doing? Think about what you're doing. Muzzle down, muzzle down. There you go. All right, lock and load. Come on, let's work, let's work. Chamber around. 
It's a bolt release. There you go. Just like that. It's on fire. Remember your hand placement. Think about what you're doing. Remember four set breath. Miss. Remember your trigger squeeze. There you go. Miss. Hey, hey up. They're all safe and clear. Good job. Getting your heart rate up is getting your heart rate up. That, that's all this is really designed to do. You notice how you missed, right, when you first, your first yeah. shot? Because you rushed it. Remember I said, you know, move fast, shoot slow. When you get there, you need to realize what's going on, focus on that front sight, and make sure that trigger's slack is pulled out, and then press, you know. And uh, you can tell when you got it, because you hit two right in a row, and you, you know, you got that rhythm. Yeah. You need to make sure when you're shooting that that you have the same cadence. Okay. What do you think, Brady? You can tell when you try to speed up that rhythm, you missed. You missed high, yeah. yeah. Correct. Focus on that front sight and make sure that slack's pulled out, aim, press the rear. Well, as you can see, exactly what we wanted to do happened, right? We wanted her to get her jacked up. We wanted her to get her heart rate up. We wanted her to get her uncomfortable right. and still have to work. And, and that's what she did. And you can tell right off the bat when she finished that first shuttle, you know, holding the, the rifle, that little eight pound rifle gets like 38 whenever you're running. That and is much harder than it looks. It, it is. And it, as you saw, as soon as she got down, what happened? Her brain stopped. Yeah. You know, you heard me having to say, hey, let's work, let's work. Muscle down, muscle down. Come on, let's work, let's work. Just like when you're swimming, your brain's thinking about breathing. You got to shut that up and think about swimming. And, and she didn't shut it up and think about shooting. But she learned. Yep. The next uh, drill we did, you saw she sped it up a little better. And uh, the pistol, go. even quicker than that. Your marksmanship wasn't what we wanted it to be. Miss. But getting used to embracing the suck was she definitely struggled a little bit but really that's what we were after is getting her like you said in that uncomfortable zone right so she had to really focus in and channel in on that breathing and heart rate and I, I could hear her her doing that I could hear her taking deep breaths trying to recover her right. heart rate get herself back in control and so, when she did that you saw she'd hit the target and that's what we're after right. so so if, if anything she did a good job at that so to simulate this type of taxed environment for the viewers at home what I'd like you to do this week for your takeaway is a simple burpee exercise, just like this. Down and out, in and up. You can throw a push-up at the bottom if you like. There's a couple different variations. Darren and Colleon from The Noir Show are gonna show you how they do it. Check it out. All right, so this is breathing and heart rate control, and absolutely one of the worst exercises on the face of the planet. <laughs> burpees! Nothing gets your heart rate higher faster than doing burpees, as far as I'm I agree. Concerned. What's the one caveat? What's the caveat? Breathe through your breathe nose. Breathe through the nose. I haven't done that with burpees before. <sighs> okay, so I breathe through my mouth. So hard, but I think breathing through the nose does slow everything down a little bit, so I can see the purpose of that. Absolutely. You know, we got a saying in the Army called, do it right, do it light, do it wrong, do it long. They'd be doing it a long time with that for them, right? <laughs> well, uh, that wasn't the best ever. What I would have liked to see is maybe something more like how many can you do in 30 seconds? Right. So join us next week. I'm going to take Reagan to the golf course where we're working on her rhythm and timing. Should be a lot of fun, a lot of benefits too. See you there. Next week on I Am Forever. Train yourself to just hold your finish at the end. Wherever it's at, just hold it. Okay. So you hit it, you hold it. Remember to ambush, same point of aim.